Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows Server tutorial. So in this video, I will show you how to install Kubernetes via Minikube on Windows Server. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know, Kubernetes is actually a container management platform. So if you want to test it or install it locally, the easiest and quickest way is to install it via Minikube. So first of all, let me show you the Minikube website. Here we go. So you can see here the definition. Minikube is local Kubernetes focusing on making it easy to learn and develop for Kubernetes. Okay. So all you need is Docker or similar compatible container or virtual machine environment. And these are the prerequisites. <clears throat> so it needs two CPUs or more, two gigabytes of free memory and 20 gigabytes of free space. And of course, a container or virtual machine, okay? So we're gonna install it on Windows Server, but via a package manager. So the package manager that we'll be using is called Chocolate. So let's go to the website, so chocolate.org. So here you can see it's a package manager for Windows. Okay. So it gets a lot of packages, but we are going to install actually Minikube via this uh, command here, choco install Minikube. Okay. So first of all, let's install this package manager. So you here you go to the install tab and you will find actually the prerequisites or requirements. So it needs Windows 7 or Windows Server 2003 uh, or above PowerShell, of course, because we'll be using it using PowerShell and the .NET framework. And this is actually uh, the command line that we'll be using in PowerShell in order to install uh, Chocolate. So let's copy it. Here we go. And let's go actually to our Windows Server machine and open PowerShell in privilege mode or run it as an administrator. Here we go. So let me make it bigger. Okay. So this is our Windows Share or Windows PowerShell. So let's execute or paste this command here. Here we go. And let's uh, hit enter in order to install Chocolate Package Manager. So let's hit enter and see what's going on. So of course it will take sometimes in order to install Chocolate because it will download the packages from the internet. Here we go. So now you see the progress bar. So here, as you can see, Chocolate is now ready. So let's just hit Choco. And you see the version actually that we are running is version 1.1.0, okay? So now that uh, we installed the package manager Chocolate, we can install Minikube using it. So the command is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So all you have to do is to type choco install Minikube, Minikube. Here we go. So once again, you can see the progress here. It's downloading Kubernetes, command line interface actually. So of course it will de depend on the internet connection that you have. Uh, 
and now it's downloading Minikube 1.25.2 version actually and here it's asking if we want to run the script so we have to answer with the Y Okay, so now it has finished. So as you can see here, the install of Minikube was successful, okay? So now let's actually start Minikube. So we'll type Minikube, uh, Minikube. Start. So here it's downloading the VM boot image using the Hyper-V driver. And now it's downloading actually the preloaded images for Kubernetes. So it's around 500 megabytes. So as you can see here, I get a message failed to start Hyper-V, okay? Because actually I have to create uh, external vSwitch. So as you can see here, there is no external vSwitch, okay? So let's go to our server manager. and tools then Hyper-V manager so this is the Hyper-V manager so we're gonna do virtual switch manager and let's simply create a virtual external virtual switch okay Okay, so the new virtual switch has been created, so I can close that. And let's run once again our Minikube start command. So now it's creating the Hyper-V VM. Okay, now so you can see we are done. So kubectl is actually the command that is used to interact with Kubernetes. Okay, and if we go back to our uh, Hyper-V manager, you can see that the Minikube virtual machine has been created and it's running. Okay, so now we can interact with our ser server or cluster Kubernetes. So, as I told you, we can use the command kube ctl in order to interact with it. 
So first of all, let me see the version. So here it said it's uh, deprecated. In a way, we can get. In a way, we can get uh, some cluster info here. So you can see Kubernetes control plane is running at this address here. Okay. We can also use the usual command like uh, get nodes. So you can see our cluster here is a minikube, the status is ready and the version is 1.23.3, okay? We can also get some pods. So no resources found. So in the next video I will show you how to actually install a simple application using Nginx with uh, minikube. So as you can see here, the installation was pretty straightforward and easy using the Chocolate Package Manager for Windows. So that was just a brief uh, video to show you how you install Minikube on Windows Server 2019. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.